Hello everyone, my name is Samiza and welcome to the most requested video so far. This is the video about how I take and edit my Instagram photos using just my phone and some free apps. So if you guys want to see how I take and edit my Instagram photos, keep on watching. The first thing I would do after I finish creating my spreads, I would take this piece of cardboard that I wrapped with some vinyl sticker. Now you guys know my background is not a table, it is vinyl sticker that I stick on a piece of cardboard. I have quite a number of cardboards with different vinyl sticker designs, all of which have their own purpose. Some are for my Instagram shop. And Speaking of the Instagram shop, if you guys seen my Instagram story, you might actually notice that I have recently launched my shop where I will be selling my customized artwork. It would really mean a lot to me if you guys can drop by and support me on that account. I will make sure to link this account in my description down below. I am now still um, trying to find the solution for international shipping. So if things go exactly as I planned, I will be able to ship the artwork internationally, hopefully very very soon. So back to this video, for my Instagram photos, I usually include some stationery in the photos together with some other random things to make sure that my photos don't look too boring. I also like to take a whole bunch of different photos with different angles and different props so that I have a lot of options to choose from. To edit my Instagram photos, I first go to the Snapseed apps and the first thing I would do is I would rotate the picture if it is not in the right direction. Next, I would go to white balance. I would normally just press the auto balance feature but depending on the image or the lighting I have when I took the picture, I would normally adjust the white balance just a little bit to match with my Instagram feed. After I'm done with that, I go to the Tune Image feature. So if you drag your finger upward, you can see all the elements that you can edit. The first thing I'm going to do here is to increase the brightness. I don't normally go too crazy with the brightness. I don't like my photos to be too bright. But at the same time, don't go too low because your photos will be dark if you don't apply enough brightness. Another question I've got asked a lot is how to edit photos if you don't have natural lighting. So if you followed my Instagram account since um, 2018, that's when I seriously commit myself to bullet journaling. The photos that I shared during that time were taken in a room that literally has no window. The only thing I used back then was the ceiling lamp or the artificial lamp. But I did the same thing as what I showed to you guys today. So no worries if you don't have natural lighting, you can still get decent photos to put on your Instagram. What you guys see in this video now is how I apply the brush feature to the certain area of my spread to make it pop a little bit because sometimes when I apply brightness and contrast to the image, the colors tend to fade. So by using this brush feature, I can actually um, increase the saturation in certain area. You can also zoom in your image by using two fingers and sort of pinch in and out of your image to zoom in and zoom out. Once I am happy with the way it looks, I then add my watermark before saving the edited version of the image. I will also list down all the apps I am using in this video in the description down below. The next step I usually do is I will go straight to Visco apps and import the image that I have edited on Snapseed. Here, I am using the filter that's actually free in these apps. There are a lot of free filters to choose from, but the one I am currently using is called the A5. So when you tap on the filter, you can adjust the level of the filter. 
Um, for my photos, I usually go around 6 and after I'm done with the filter, I usually go and give some more editing before sharing them on my Instagram. Different from Snapseed, Visco actually has a feature that allows you to copy or edit from your previous photos. Um, so I usually just um, copy and paste the edits. The picture you see on my Instagram are from this exact same setting that I am showing to you guys today. I will make sure to include all the details at the end of this video in case you guys want to give it a try. I also like to adjust the temperature of my photos to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. Another thing I get asked a lot is how I blur out the text in my spreads. So for this, I usually use the Airbrush apps. It is free. Um, so to use this blur effect, I just go to the tools and select blur. One thing I like about these apps is not only is it free, you can also adjust the size for this blurry brush. So what you see me doing now is I'm just pinching the image to zoom in and to blur out the text. I would simply drag my fingers over the text that I want to blur out. Once you are happy with your image, you can simply tap on the save button in the right top corner. However, I need to remind you all that this is not a one-fit-all solution. Some images need more brightness than the other. So before I upload my photos to my Instagram account, I would normally just um, adjust the photos a little bit using the edit function in Instagram itself. Another thing I normally do is I would save the draft of the edited pictures in my Instagram. That way I can easily plan my photos as well as see how they look and I will just adjust the edit accordingly. And as I mentioned just now, I already listed all the details of my edits at the end of this video in case you guys want to give it a try. So alright guys, I think that's all for this time. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by subscribing. Talk to you guys again hopefully in my next video. Until then, bye bye.